With grateful hearts, we shall now begin the celebration of the Holy Eucharist. Please stand. Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, we lift up our thanksgiving to God for all the blessings that we have received. Let us now prepare our hearts to receive Jesus as we acknowledge our sinfulness. Let us remember the many times we have offended God and the many times we have hurt others. With a humble heart, we ask the Lord for his pardon and mercy. We humbly say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. of adoption, chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the, br in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
A reading from the first book of Kings. The Lord said to Elijah, You shall anoint Elisha, son of Shaphat, of Abel Mehola, as prophet to succeed you. Elijah set out and came upon Elisha, son of Shaphat, as he was plowing with twelve yoke of oxen. He was following that well. Elijah went over to him and threw his cloak over him. Elisha left the oxen, ran after Elijah, and said, Please, let me kiss my father and mother goodbye, and I will follow you. Elijah answered, Go back. Have I done anything to you? Elisha left him and, taking the yoke of oxen, slaughtered them. He used the plowing equipment for fuel to boil the flesh and gave it to his people to eat. Then Elisha left and followed Elijah as his attendant. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. to the Lord, my Lord, are you? O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my love. me even in the night my heart exhorts me I set the Lord ever before me with him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed Says my body too abides in confidence because you will not abandon my soul to the nether world, nor will you suffer your faithful one 
to undergo corruption. You are my inheritance, oh Lord. Show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, for freedom, Christ set us free. So stand firm and do not submit again to the yoke of slavery. For you were called for freedom, brothers and sisters. But do not use this freedom as an opportunity for the flesh. Rather, serve one another through love. For the whole law is fulfilled in one statement, namely, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. But if you go on biting and devouring one another, beware that you are not consumed by one another. I say then, live by the Spirit, and you will certainly not gratify the desire of the flesh. For the flesh has desires against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. These are opposed to each other, so that you may not do what you want. But if you are guided by the Spirit, you are not under the law. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand to honor the Holy Gospel. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. 
Glory to you, O Lord. When the days of Jesus' being taken up were fulfilled, he resolutely determined to journey to Jerusalem, and he sent messengers ahead of him. On the way, they entered a Samaritan village to prepare for his reception there, but they would not welcome him because the destination of his journey was Jerusalem. When the disciples, James and John, saw this, they asked, Lord, do you want us to call down fire from heaven to consume them? Jesus turned and rebuked them, and they journeyed to another village. As they were proceeding on their journey, someone said to him, I will follow you wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens, and birds of the sky have nets, nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. And to another he said, Follow me. But he replied, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But he answered him, Let the dead bury their dead. But you, go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And another said, I will follow you, Lord. But first, let me say farewell to my family at home. To him, Jesus said, No one who sets a hand to the plow and looks to what was left behind is fit for the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Siguro po kayo ay namamangha at uh, first time niyo akong makita. Kayo din naman, first time kong makita. <laughs> so it's a tie. Uh, ako po si Father Marlon Reyes. I am a Blessed Sacrament priest. I am assigned there in Our Lady of the Assumption Parish. I am from the most peaceful place in the world, Tondo, Manila. <laughs> so, <laughs> tapos, ako po ay na-assign dito. Kami pong mga pare ay naiimbitahan ng mga tao. With your generosity and kindness, people wanted to invite priest. There was a priest who was invited uh, to a dinner by a couple with, uh, with their children. Pumunta yung pare doon sa kanilang bahay at habang sila ay kumakain, nagdi-dinner sila, di... Uh, the, the eldest child, a seven or eight year old boy, sinabi niya habang sila ay kumakain at, at, at nagdi-dinner, sabi niya, you know, mommy, I wanted to become a priest. Wow. I want to become a priest. Siyempre, natuwa, natuwa silang lahat, lalo na yung pare, proud siya. Ako siguro na-inspire sa akin to batang to. And uh, tinanong yung bata, why would you want to become a priest? And then the little boy said, well, I want to become a priest because when a priest visits a house, the food is always good. <laughs> alam, alam po ninyo itong mga Yung mga tao na nagbo-volunteer uh, to follow the Lord, una-muna, nakita nila si Jesus 
nagpapagaling ng mga may sakit. Yung mga nag-volunteer na sumunod kay Jesus, nakita muna nila si Jesus nagpatigil ng bagyo, nagpakain ng maraming tao, bumuhay ng patay. Nakita nilang lahat yung mga kamanghamanghang ginawa ng Diyos. Lahat ng mga magaganda at kamanghamanghang ginawa ni Jesus, nakita nila yon. At nung nakita nila yon, wow, kakaiba ito. I will follow this man. I will follow Jesus. Susunod ako dito. Kasi lahat pumapalakpak sa kanya. Lahat hangang-hanga sa kanya. At lahat nagsasabi, yes, he is a good man. At dahil dyan, I will follow Jesus. I will follow the Lord. At marami din po sa atin, ganyan. When things are going well, kapag ang mga bagay sa ating buhay ay maayos, when things are favorable to us, ang dali-daling sabihin, yes, I will follow the Lord. Susunod ako kay Jesus. Maglilingkod ako sa Diyos. Magsuserve ako sa church. Pero ang paalaala po sa atin ngayon, do not follow me dahil lang nakakita, nakaranas ka ng mga mabubuti at mga magagandang bagay. Ang dapat pala, follow the Lord because you are ready to sacrifice. Yun pala ang dapat. Lord, I will follow you because I am ready to sacrifice. Of course, yung pare, hindi naman sinabi doon sa bata na, na ano ka, dapat matuto ka magsatrapisyo kung gusto mo maging pare. Hindi e naman niya sinabing ganun. Obviously, masyado pa yung bata. To be able to fully understand na ang pagpapare is also sacrifice. But most of you here, most of you, you are no longer too young. <laughs> hindi ko naman sinasabing sobrang tanda nyo na. No? Pero, hindi ko rin, pero hindi rin naman kayo too young <laughs> to understand that to follow Jesus Discipleship entails sacrifice. Subukan po ninyong alalahanin ang mga pagkakataon. When we, when we first decided, Yes, Lord, magsisimba ako araw-araw. Magde-devotion ako every Friday. Magde-devotion ako every Wednesday. Kasi I love the Lord. Kasi feeling blessed. Kasi feeling blessed ako. Magdadasal ako ng rosary lagi as a devotee of Our Lady. Maglalaan ako ng panahon, ng oras to adore the Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. Maghalad ako regularly ng offering sa church bilang pasalamat sa Diyos. Try to re- To, to go back, balikan po ninyo yung mga panahon na nasabi nyo yan. In all probability, nasabi natin yan because you felt a certain feeling of religious high. You felt comfort. You felt peace. You felt joy. You felt you are very blessed. That's, that is why you were able to say, Yes, I will follow the Lord. Kahit naman kami, mga religious, pare, pumasok kami sa seminaryo or sa kumbento because we felt that certain feeling of religious high. Ay, sige, magpapari ako. Pero nung nasa seminaryo na kami, at ngayon, pari na, o oh, madre na, ang hirap pala. <laughs> o 
Pero ngayon, dumadating yung pagkakataon, ang saya, unti-unti nang nababawasan. Distractions enter into our prayer life. Temptations be have become stronger. Kung kailan ka nag-serve kay Lord, mas lalong tumindi ang mga temptation sa buhay. Mas tumindi yung tukso. Mas tumindi yung mga pagsubok. Sometimes, nagsiserve ka na, you feel misunderstood. At patuloy pa rin yung problema sa pamilya kahit araw-araw tayong nagdadasal. And let me tell you, my dear brothers and sisters, ito talaga yung tamang panahon ng pagsasabi, Lord, I will follow you. Susunod ako sa iyo, Lord. If you want to follow the Lord, it is not when the food is good. Hindi kung kailan lamang komportable. Hindi kung kailan lang maraming pumapalakpak. Hindi kung kailan lang laging masaya. The time to decide to follow the Lord is and when everything is difficult. Kapag wala nang nakakaunawa sa iyo, kapag ikaw ay inuusig, kapag ikaw pinagtatawanan, Kapag ikaw nakakaramdam na ng pagod, ah, kapagod naman to. Serve ako ngayon, mamaya, serve na naman. And if despite all these, you still decide to follow the Lord, that is commitment. That is true discipleship. Sa atin pong Gospel for today, ang sabi ng mga gustong sumunod kay Jesus, Panginoon, hayaan niyo po muna na maipalibing ko yung aking ama. Ang sabi sa kanya ni Jesus, hayaan mong mga patay ang magpalibing sa kanila mga patay. Pero humayo ka, ipahayag mo yung paghahari ng Diyos. Tapos yung isa naman, ang sabi, Lord, I will follow you, but first let me say farewell to my family at home. Papaalam muna ako, Lord, dun sa mga kasama ko sa bahay. At ang tugon sa kanya ni Jesus, ang sino man nag-aararo, palingon-lingon, hindi karapat-dapat sa kaharian ng Diyos. My dear brothers and sisters, Loyalty to Jesus demands sacrifice. Lalong-lalo na po, sacrifice of our own will for the will of God. In this Mass, I pray for you. Sana pagdating ng mga pagsubok sa buhay, when trials become too heavy to bear, when the cross becomes impossible to carry, kahit ganoon ang mangyari sa buhay natin, we will remain servants of the Lord. We will remain committed to the Lord. That is true discipleship. Please stand. Together we profess our faith. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. 
for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. God, our Father, you empowered your Son to follow your will, even to the death, death on a cross. Through the Spirit, may we remain obedient in love as we say, Lord, listen to your people. Lord, listen to your people. Let Pope Francis, the bishops, the clergy, and consecrated men and women may deliver your church from the curse of clericalism and the poison of ideology, that we may remain true only to the gospel. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to, to your people. That our government officials may be inspired to build a world of peace and goodness and show concern for the good of all. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to, to your, your people. people. That young people called to priestly and consecrated life may have the resolve of the prophets and of Jesus to persevere in their calling. We pray. Lord, Lord listen, listen to, to your, your people. people. That all of us gathered in this Holy Eucharist, together with those who offered special intentions, may be moved to be loving towards each other, especially to the least of our brothers and sisters. We pray, Lord, Lord listen, listen to, to your, your people. people. That our beloved dead, especially those we remember today, may be reborn to a new life in you, and rejoice forever in the vision of your glory. We pray, Lord, Lord listen, listen to, to your, your people. people. Faithful Father, in your spirit, turn our unfaithful hearts towards trust and confidence in your eternal will through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. <laughs> Thank you. 
minister you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands to become our bread of life. Blessed be God for the spending of the water and wine and the pump of prayer. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands to become our Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash your name. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder to rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Please kneel. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Romulo, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Yeah. 
Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away. away. loving mercy be for me protection in mind and body lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed behold the lamb of god behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed the body and blood of christ bring us all to everlasting life. The act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. I will come to you. 
Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bound to you in lasting charity, we may bear fruit that lasts forever. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please remain kneeling as we pray the prayer for the synod and synodality. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name. With you alone to guide us, make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path nor partiality influence our actions. Let us find in you our unity so that we may journey together to eternal life and not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you who are at work in every place and time in the communion of the Father and the Son forever and ever. Amen. Thank you very much to all of you and thank, thank you to your parish for inviting me to celebrate this Mass. It is my, uh, my joy to bless and break bread for you. 
this morning. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.